We reported recently that rainstorms are getting more intense in Pittsburgh and gaining power faster than in any other Northeast city. That's according to a new report from Climate Central. Yeah, but what's causing it? That's the question. And does it mean you should be paying closer attention now to severe thunderstorm and flash flood warnings? Here's KDK First Alert meteorologist Trey Fulbright. Earth continues to warm at an alarming rate. In fact, the World Meteorological Organization confirmed that 2024 was the warmest year ever recorded based on six international data sets. Out of the many consequences of a warming climate, one major concern is the increasing frequency of high intensity rain events. Researchers at Climate Central say the change in hourly rainfall rates in Pittsburgh has increased 28% since 1970. Pittsburgh is number 11 out of 12 on a list of larger cities that have seen the greatest increase in rainfall intensity rates between 1970 and 2024. So how does a warmer climate contribute to higher intensity rain events? The idea behind it stems from the clausius clapeyron equation. And essentially for every one degree warming Fahrenheit that you see, the atmosphere holds 4% more moisture. What you see is heavier rainfall rates, uh, more rain falling inside that one thunderstorm, a coastal storm or a hurricane like a Harvey or a Florence that holds a lot more water and breaks all kinds of rainfall records. Western PA's terrain and soil types make high intensity rain events even more dangerous. Places like Pittsburgh, when you look at the soil composition, isn't incredibly porous either. So you're dealing with rain falling on a surface that has a pitch or an angle to it, and it runs off. And if that soil doesn't allow for absorption, that exacerbates the problem. Not only is our soil type and terrain a risk factor, but our aging infrastructure adds to the risk as well. We are seeing more in the way of these extreme rain events that overwhelm the stormwater system. So you can run into a lot of problems really quickly when you have a stormwater system that wasn't designed for the rainfall rates that we're seeing now. There are some measures people and business owners can take to protect themselves. First, make sure your home or business is covered by flood insurance. Second, remove debris from drainage areas. Third, consider raising utility equipment in your home or business that could be damaged by flooding. Finally, watershed restoration and green development may be necessary measures used to combat flooding risk in the future. It may make more sense to take an area that was developed and let it return to nature. I'm KDKA First Alert Meteorologist Trey Fulbright.